What's up, everybody? It's your boy, King Major, and I'm back again here on the Motion Network with some major news. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into it, like... Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Yeah, so what's up, y'all? Uh, first off, I want to start off this segment by just doing some congratulations and some shout-outs. Uh, first, congratulations is going to go to Snoop Dogg. He recently just received a Hollywood star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And this is long overdue. He's done a lot of things for the entertainment industry, for the music industry, for the hip-hop industry, um, and for people in general. So this is long overdue, and we just want to tell him congratulations. Uh, next shout-out I want to give to is a YouTuber named DDG. Uh, now, DDG, he's been getting a lot of buzz, but I've actually been following him for uh, probably like a year or two. I've watched a lot of people on YouTube. Uh, but the thing I want to shout out to him for is uh, starting his own record label and signing people uh, who he wanted to bring up under him. And a lot of people can start their own record label and sign people, but he's got to the point where he's actually getting noticed. Uh, he had an interview with Nick Cannon. He was recently at the... Uh, AMA Awards. Uh, and his name is getting really big out here. He has a couple million subs, and he could choose just to keep that all to himself. But he's deciding, hey, I, you know, I want to give this. I want to help some other people out. Uh, I want to, you know, start off with my family helping them out. So I got to tell him shout out to that and uh, keep up the good work on that. Keep grinding. The next shout out I want to do is uh, Jason Tatum. Now, if you don't know Jason Tatum, he's a St. Louis native. Uh, he plays for the Boston Celtics. He plays uh, small forward. Sometimes he might play some shooting guard. Sometimes he might play some power forward. But uh, I want to give a shout out to him. Uh, he's being a role model. He's saving 100% of his uh, NBA salary. So the check he gets from the NBA, he's like, nah, I'm just going I'm going to pocket this. I'm going to put this in the savings. And he strictly, li excuse me, my elbows actually. <laughs> he's he's strictly just using his money off of his endorsements from like Emos, Gatorade. I think he has one for Nike. Uh, he's living off those, which you know a lot of us can. Especially if you here in the Lou, you get let's say you just get a couple million for those, you can live off that for a couple years for sure. Um, so shout out to him for just you know having that financial responsibility and just say hey, I'm going to uh, going to just save all my money and you know. If, if something happened, you know, let's say I'm not even in the league a couple years from now. I got this to fall back on. I can invest. And Jason Tatum's pretty smart. He He's really smart. And he's from St. Louis. Uh, so shout out to him. Uh, love. The next person I want to give a shout out to. It's not more of a shout out. It's just kind of letting you guys know what happened on it. Uh, if you watched the AMA Awards, you may have saw something that really stuck out. A lot of people won. Uh, but one thing that really stuck out was the Rap Album of the Year. And this uh, went to Post Malone. Uh, his album was called Hollywood Bleeding. He had over 400 million streams. Um, and me, I'm like, Rap Album? Favorite rap album? Who is judging this? Who, who who's favorite? Cause honestly, I really didn't listen to Post Malone's uh, album for real. I'm just keeping it on it. Like you also, but to think you had Jeezy who came out with some. You had Rick Ross who came out with some. Hell, Kanye came out with some. Then you had Revenge of the Dreamers three. Like, bruh, and that that hit over a hundred and. I want to say 150 million streams the first week. You had Kirk Franklin album. I mean, even though it's not 100% rap, I mean, Post Malone do pop. Like, I mean, even though pop is just popular, it's not, that's not rap. Like, it, that'll fall more into hip-hop. But rap, come on, man. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. I don't think he should have won that. Uh, but, you know, we're not going to hate on him. I just think the people who are judging this to, to like let us know what they are judging by, uh, you know what their standards, what they using to, 
to to go by to to measure what's the favorite al- album of the year, or is the is it the favorite of the people, or just the favorite of the people who's voted, which most likely it is. Uh, so we're gonna leave that right there where it is. And I told y'all last week I'm gonna be following Kanye. So and I'm gonna keep this up every week. So be expecting to hear something about Kanye, and he could be doing this on purpose. Uh, he wants us to follow him, but. I kind of want to see where he's just going to take this because there's been a lot of buzz saying, you know, hey, Kanye is going to run for president uh, in the next election. He's most likely going to run as a Republican, so he can't run as on uh, this uh, this election unless Trump gets impeached. Uh, and, you know, he also just released this uh, project. He uh, did the thing at Joe Osteen's church. I'm saying uh, a lot. He did his thing at Joe Osteen's church. Then he also did the thing at uh, Pastor Brian's church. He's got this Sunday service going on all around the world. He's he's doing a lot of buzz. He's had, he's having a lot of buzz. Uh, but recently, what I want to talk to you guys about, he had an opera play called, uh, I guess it was called Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, yeah, excuse me, y'all. Yeah, he had an opera play called Nebuchadnezzar, and it was held at the Hollywood Bowl. Now, the Nebuchadnezzar story was based off the biblical story of a Babylonian king called Nebuchadnezzar from the book of Daniel. And the his, yeah, aka the destroyer of Solomon, I'm sorry, I'm reading my notes, uh, who would eventually capture the Jews and take over Jerusalem. Now, hearing that and then kind of understanding how it's going to be an opera, that, that, that story came from the Old Testament. And you would think, oh man, it's going to be dope. But it got a lot of bad reviews. Um, I'll let y'all go check out the reviews. But he he's kind of already given us a bad name too. They they said the play was supposed to start at 3 or 3.30 or 4. And it didn't start till 6. Now some of us was like, oh yeah, that's CP time. But that's ridiculous, bro. <laughs> that's ridiculous. How you going to have something that, man, come on, bro. Um... So we're going to just be keeping up with Kanye. I'm going to be letting y'all know what he's doing. Um, yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got for today. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys. We are coming up on the end of the year. Make sure you tell your friends to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you turn them on post notifications. You know, Make sure you get notified whenever we drop a video, which is Monday through Friday. Saturdays will be coming soon. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of things. We got some music coming. Uh, some of the people in our group might even be dropping a project.